Ben Shapiro just never seems to learn, does he? I think that there could be some lessons he could take from his recent kerfuffle. Consider this. I don't know if you've seen the news, but Ben had a falling out with somebody. Uh, the type of person that he should have known he shouldn't have gotten into business with because they trafficked in conspiracy theories and they were unstable and they've shown a lack of judgment. And Ben knew and recognized that they had all these problems, but he got into business with them anyway. Predictably, the result has been a disaster. No, I'm not talking about his endorsement of Donald Trump. I'm talking about his business associate, Candace Owens. But there are some real parallels here, yet for some reason the smart one, the cool kids philosopher Ben Shapiro, doesn't seem to notice the parallels, doesn't seem to notice uh, the lesson that he might want to take from this Candace experience um, when it comes to making Donald Trump the leader of the free world. Let me just, let's just back up, let me explain here. So uh, Ben invited Candace Owens into the Daily Wire. Um, uh, they recently had a falling out over her various anti-Semitic comments. But the thing is, is that like Ben knew what he was getting. It wasn't like he was surprised by Candace um, before he had even hired her uh, back in 2018, back when she was a Turning Point USA spokesperson. Uh, she was famous for advancing conspiracy theories. She said the moon landing was faked. She'd go on to Infowars. She said that the mail bombing attempts that were targeting prominent Democrats were actually a false flag from leftists. And this was her stock in trade, these kinds of conspiracy theories. Not only that, anti-Semitic comments were something that she wasn't... Um, wasn't immune to. Uh, she had a history also of making comments that, well, let's just, we can listen to ourselves. She was asked about globalism and nationalism back in 2018 um, at Turning Point USA. So a long time ago, many years before the recent uh, controversy with uh, between her and Ben. And, um, and here's what she said with regards to how she feels about the word nationalism. If Hitler just wanted to make Germany great and have things run well, okay, fine. The problem is, is that he wanted, he had dreams outside of Germany. He wanted to globalize. He wanted everybody to be German, everybody to be speaking German, everybody to look a different way. That's not, to me, that's not nationalism. Hmm. If Hitler had wanted to make Germany great and have things run well, okay, fine. Okay, fine. I don't know if that showed just a total lack of knowledge of what Hitler was doing to Jews inside Germany, or whether Candace Owens just didn't really care what Hitler was doing to Jews inside Germany. Either way, for somebody like Ben Shapiro, this should have been a blazing red siren. Don't hire this person. Don't get into business with somebody that... Uh, is either so stupid that they don't know what happened in World War II or so anti-Semitic that they don't care what happens to Jews as long as it happens in Germany. Okay, that should have been a warning sign. Maybe maybe I shouldn't add this person to my podcasting network. But Ben Shapiro did anyway. He overlooked the risks. Why? Because of personal benefit. Because of uh, because it would allow the Daily Wire to grow, and presumably it would allow the Daily Wire to make more money and to expand and to get more influence, right? Like it was political, career-oriented reasons. Well, it's like, let's bring in Candace Owens. She has star power, okay? I will uh, uh, work with somebody even though they're obviously a little bit crazy and obviously unstable because it's going to help me. And whatever, there won't be any, there won't be any uh, consequences, right? We'll just deal with that later. Well, fast forward, six years, consequences have happened. 2024, um, Candace has been on a long run of saying things that create tension at the Daily Wire. It was many months ago when this first, the Kerfuffles first started, when Kanye West was out there saying the most explicitly anti-Semitic things imaginable about how Jews run the world and having lunch with Republican presidential nominee Donald Trump. We'll get back to that lunch because that's important. Uh, having lunch with Donald Trump at Mar-a-Lago. And, and Ben Shapiro was criticizing this and Candace Owens was like, well, I don't know, what Kanye, is Kanye, what Kanye is saying is kind of true, right? And she's liking things on social media um, that are outrageously offensive, outrageous blood libel targeting Jews. And, and you know, they, they kind of figure it out. They dance around it. They keep Candace around. Then October, the tragic terrorist attack um, happens in October. And, and, and the Israel war in Gaza begins. 
And once again, these kind of anti-Semitic sentiments start coming up in Candace's commentary and in Candace's social media feeds. And eventually, this becomes unsustainable and she has to leave. And Ben Shapiro can't even really talk about it. He doesn't know what to say. The guy who is unafraid, who'll go on college campuses and shout down 18-year-olds and tell them they're stupid. Well, he, won't, he can't even answer questions about his association with Candace Owens. Let's, let's watch him with Piers Morgan here real quick. The consequences of this war has been a lot of very high passions on both sides, a lot of angry disagreements. You and your company have been at the centre of a very uh, high-profile one at the moment with Candace Owens, who's now left Daily Wire. Um, was she fired or did she leave of her own volition? I'm not going to speak to this topic, Piers. At, at all? At all. You can't give me any uh, insight into why she departed? No hints, no nothing. I'm not going to speak to this. Can, can, I ask, can I ask why? I mean, you can ask. No, no, I'm not, you can ask why you don't want to say anything. Um, again, you can ask. Oh, yeah, you can ask me, but I won't say. I won't say what she did was wrong. I won't admit it. I won't, I won't answer for my... And, uh, for myself, I won't answer for why I got into business with this person in the first place, uh, because it's embarrassing, right? And because the, the the consequences are obvious. Here's the thing: Does it really matter what's happening on the Daily Wire podcast network? Who he hires, who he fires? Uh, not really. It matters for his reputation. Uh, it matters that he's spreading this bile out into the universe, and it's not just Candace. It's Matt Walsh. It's Michael Knowles, it's all these other conspiracists and bigots that he's hired. Uh, he says he doesn't have hiring responsibility. Actually, he's just the co-founder. Just the co-founder. So whatever, that he's agreed to put his name next to. Uh, I guess that matters. That's getting out in the world. But I, you know, it matters a lot less than who has the nuclear codes than who's the leader of the free world. And yet Ben Shapiro is making the same mistake that he made when he got into business with Candace Owens when he has decided to put his support fully behind Donald Trump, to donate his own money to become a Donald Trump propaganda arm. He's making the same mistake that he made with Candace Owens, but not on a small level about a podcasting company, but on a huge level about the state of our country, the state of the world. And none of the lessons that, that, he, that were just rammed down his throat so publicly and so embarrassingly in this Candace Owens disaster seem to have sunk in when it comes to Donald Trump. He's not looking at any of the red flags. He's ignoring all the warning signs about Donald Trump, right? The fact that he had lunch with Kanye West and Nick Fuentes, the white nationalist. The fact that he was an apologist for the KKK folks at Charlottesville. The fact that Donald Trump wants to let Vladimir Putin run roughshod over Ukraine and, and that they advance all these weird and all, all his allies advance these weird anti-Semitic conspiracy theories about Vladimir Zelensky because he's Jewish. The fact that we've seen that Donald Trump is, cannot be trusted, that he is unstable, that he has advanced all these lies about the election, that his, that his lies caused an attack on our very capital. We've seen all of this. All the warning signs are there, they, just like they were there when he got into business with Candace. And eventually it ends badly. When you go into business with somebody that is unstable, that is crazy, that is racist, that frankly doesn't mind if, if he does dog whistle attacks on Jewish people or not so dog whistle attacks on black and brown people. When you get into business with somebody like that, it is going to end badly. There is going to be a disaster on the back end. People are going to get hurt. Maybe not Ben Shapiro because he's done very well at the Daily Wire, but a lot of people. And it might be Israelis, it might be Ukrainians, it might be Americans, it might be immigrants, but it's going to be somebody because this guy is a rollicking disaster. Ben Shapiro knows it. Do you know how we know he knows it? Because he said it. Let's listen to Ben. Donald Trump is a liar. Trump's three biggest crowds are evangelicals, conservatives, and he's a winner of voters. Trump is lying to all of them. Stop buying the lies. He knows it. He knows it. Just like he knew with Candace. And it's going to end badly, just like it did with Candace. But it's not going to end badly just for the Daily Wire. It's going to end badly for all of us. So Ben Shapiro, I know you like to go around and lecture people and say, oh, you know, you're acting like children. You're not, you're not taking these debates seriously. Actually, let's just watch, let's just watch this video where he, where he chides his fellow conservative commentators for acting like a child. You blame society, you don't have an answer. 
So it must be a conspiracy. There must be some sort. And you're just asking questions. You don't know, right? This is the game that is played by so many corrupt commentators. Just asking questions. I don't have to show you evidence that something terrible is happening. I don't have to actually demonstrate how the thing is happening. I don't have to tell you who the problem is. Wink, wink. But I can just tell you right now that there is a problem. But even, and, and if I'm asked about it, hey, I'm just asking questions. Now, let me tell you something about just asking questions for a second. Just asking questions is a game for children. My son is seven. He can just ask questions. Yeah. You're acting like a child. You're acting like a child. You know that there are risks. You know the stove is hot. You know Donald Trump is a hot stove, but you're putting your hand on it like you're a seven-year-old, like a three-year-old who doesn't know better because it helps you in the short term, because it's politically convenient, because you want a cookie. So then maybe, maybe in this one case, maybe the Candace Owens nightmare that is unraveling right now in front of your face might wake you up to the fact that all of the mistakes you made in this micro case, you want to inflict on the rest of the country in the form of Donald Trump. All right. That's my fun, optimistic take about the Ben Shapiro, Candace Owens uh, spat. We'll be back here with more. Make sure you subscribe to the Bulwark YouTube page. And uh, I don't know, who knows? Maybe one of the Daily Wire guys will want to come on and chat with me about it sometime. Peace. Hey, if you like this video and our content, I'd love for you to become a Bulwark Plus member. You get bonus podcasts, uh, you get bonus newsletters, you get bonus takes from me that maybe don't come up on the YouTube feed. Um, you can try it out for free at thebulwark.com slash free trial. The link is below in the description. Uh, we'd love to have you as a member of our community. Uh, we have great commenters and uh, great opportunities for people who want to protect democracy.